Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the sixth episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled Food Fight. We open this episode up at the Youth Center where our cultural food festival is happening. Ah, the cultures of the world. USA, Asian, hot. Nailed it. Mr. Kaplan's there and says how everything's going swimmingly and Trini mentions that they'll have enough money for the new playground equipment. Dear God, please tell me it's for the elementary school instead of the high school. Jason is also a little worried about Rita interfering with their plans, and in a smash cut we find out that Rita plans to do just that. Anyways, things are getting boring, so Bulk and Skull are hanging out with their friend Sharky and another punk, and Bulk bets Sharky that he can hit Mr. Kaplan with a pie, which in 2017 would definitely be seen as an assault. Instead it just takes off Mr. Kaplan's toupee and hits Skull, to which I ask, where the hell did a toupee go? Oh well, Skull yells food fight, and insanity ensues. It's a longer scene than necessary of everyone throwing food at each other while the ranger teens try to calm everyone down. Oh, and Mr. Kaplan gets his toupee out of the punch bowl, so I'm kind of glad that they remembered that he lost it. On the moon, Rita wants a special monster, and Fincer tells her everything that he makes is special, and wow, Fincer is great. Rita wants a pudgy pig, because I guess she was like staring too long at Bulk, and Finster takes one out of the trash to make a monster. Pudgy Pig is birthed and sent to Earth, where he immediately dumps a trash can on his face that was filled with popcorn for some reason. Back at the youth center, Zack taunts Bulk like a matador, because Bulk is fat, while the Pudgy Pig runs into an in-progress picnic to really fuck shit up. Oh well, Mr. Kaplan loses his mind at the youth center and assigns the cleanup task to the ranger teens. It really feels like it should be Skull that has to do this since he's the one that, you know, yelled about it, but whatever. So Ron requests the rangers to be at the command center because of Budgie Pit. Turns out this monster is allegedly going to eat all the food in the world in 48 hours, to which I ask how. Homeboy has only eaten stuff from a picnic in a trash can. I think we got some more time here. Alpha arrives as a comic relief in a apron and hat to offer the rangers food for the festival and they basically ignore him, so hooray! The rangers fight Pudgy Pig on a rooftop, but they're not really doing so great. Somehow this butterball with legs is putting up a fight. They take out their power weapons, which he promptly eats. Suck on that, rangers. Oh, and then he somehow teleports the rangers away? Like, who knew he could do that? I don't think even Finster knew that this was in his repertoire. The rangers land in the same park as that picnic from earlier and cut location costs, and Zordon tells them that the pudgy pig is already doing stuff at the food festival. Before they can get there, the monster eats everything in sight and scares Bulk and Skull. The rangers show up and Trini notices that the pudgy pig ate everything except for the spicy food from the hot country. Zordon lets the rangers know that the monster is at a construction site. What the hell is he eating there? People's lunch? Well, the rangers show up morphed and start feeding him food that they brought. Trini hides a spicy radish in the food that she throws, and when Pudgy Pig eats it, he just starts projectile vomiting their weapons out. Somehow, the rangers aren't revolted by this, and they just grab their weapons, put them together, and blast his ass to oblivion. Rita's pretty bummed about this, but like, who cares, because the teens have to get back to the youth center and clean up that mess that didn't really have anything to do with them. Alpha decides to help and sends them the food that he made earlier just because, which is convenient because they need food to sell for the playground equipment. Mr. Kaplan shows up, apologizes for blaming the ranger teens when they really shouldn't have. He buys a sandwich from them for the playground equipment. It's spicy, he dumps water on his face, he loses his toupee, everyone laughs, and this episode's finally put out of his misery. So okay, this episode isn't horrible, but it's definitely one that you have to kind of like Power Rangers to really enjoy. Once again, the status quo that we're introduced to in the first episode just keeps getting broken. There is no Megazord battle at all. Pudgy Pig is also definitely down for the count from the start by Finster because he was already trashed to begin with. Oh well. Next time things get even worse somehow in Big Sisters, but until then, may the power protect you.